Hey, what's up? Sean here with Think Media TV, helping you move further faster in media. Today I wanted to go through our gear setup part two because some things have changed. We've been doing this for about eight months. We've switched some products around and we're really happy with the results we're getting. And so I actually want to compare two products, the Optica X-Grip, which is what we started out with, and the CamCaddy Scorpion, um, which is what we're using now, and talk about some of the differences, why we made the switch, so stay tuned. So when it comes to our setup, we're very intentional about uh, certain things, like it has to be very portable. Our style is very hustle and flow, run into a place, pull it out of a backpack, shoot an interview, expandable, run and gun, backpack production. That has always been how we've wanted to build our setup and that's what initially led us to the Optica. Then one night I was talking with my friend Caleb Ralston from Believe Media and Mass Muscle TV, you can check him out here. And we were talking about some of the limitations, things that we wish would be included, the expandability of the Optica, and we stumbled over the Cam Caddy. I'd never heard about it before, and I was really shocked by the outrageous modular setups that, you know, customizability of it. It said I have got to get one of these, so I got a Cam Caddy starter kit. Have now been using that for a few months, and so I want to talk about what I've learned, some of the experiences, compare the two, so I hope you enjoy this video. So here are the two, uh, here's the Optica and here's the Cam Caddy. A, a few initial observations, both are made out of plastic. This one's got foam handle, this one uh, does not. When it comes to how sturdy they each are, pretty similar, but the Cam Caddy is more sturdy. This is a little more flimsy if you were to get something heavier on here. The clearance here is also different. And um, for instance, we would put the Canon 7D with a Zacuto plate on the bottom, which we could have removed, but it did not really clear here and it would clear here. And then we hang, we would hang the camera outside of a car window down by the road. And just a disclaimer, that might not be the best idea to do for your camera, but we did it. Long-term minded wise, this foam does add some cushioning. It also limits things a little bit, but you know, lifetime sweaty hands, multiple different sweating hands, the foam's kind of just nasty um, if you think about it because it's it's porous and, and whatever. And thinking more as far as which one would really last longer and be more pro, I would definitely go with the Cam Caddy. Another drawback with the Optica was we would put, uh, we put a little shoe extender on here, but it, it doesn't lock down at all. This will always um, spin left or right. If somebody hits it, it'll spin. It doesn't, it doesn't, you know, channel, it doesn't connect, it doesn't have any grooves. The um, Cam Caddy very much has, on this piece, it has ridges. It locks down in here. And so when you get either one thing or you put your shoe extender on here, it locks down way tighter, much more pro, feel a lot better about it. And then also a huge drawback with the Optica is that it won't be expandable at all to a tripod, which for most people, that's not even a consideration. But for me, because I wanna be able to run a gun and maybe throw this on a tripod quick, at the time it didn't exist, but now they actually have a plate that works with this to get your cam caddy on a tripod. So of course, as you notice, as you look them up, price is a huge consideration. And I mean, if price was the only consideration, you would still probably go with the Optica um, that I wanna say for a sale price of about 35. The Cam Caddy itself, you wanna go with the starter kit that I went with, and that's gonna come in, I think a, a deal you could get on is about 90. But the conclusion that I've really come to is not only the lifetime use of this, the more professional durability use, but also the future expandability possibilities that you'll see in just a moment. So ultimately, you get what you pay for. Uh, so moving this to the side and focusing on the uh, think setup and how that is adapted and changed. What we do now is we still have uh, our Optica fisheye that we usually roll with. If we're gonna shoot, uh, we can we screw it on and off to maybe do an interview doing some shots and then if we do B footage, boom, screw it off, use you know regular telephoto uh, uh, view of our Canon Vixia, uh, zoom in and out, you know the fisheye easily comes off and we just set it down somewhere. And then we run and and film with that. Now here's the Cam Caddy wing connected to one of these. And one huge thing we've added to our setup is LED lights, uh, especially because in this video that I'm gonna link right here, when there is not light there, it's nice to be able to um, have uh, LED lights for run and gun. And I, I have two different ones here. I have the HD SLR video light, which I like. It's a nicer build. 
Um, but the downside to this one is that it um, it does not it's not dimmable. And so I also got this one off eBay for about 50 bucks, the CA126. Nice dimmable LED light, uh, but also you can see it's eBay build quality with the electrical tape uh, here and the fact that things are chipping off of it and it's crazy, but it's still, you know, one bulb's already burnt out, uh, but hey, you know, that's life. And then what it does is the way Can Caddy works, and this is the big difference, it screws onto the arm, it can be positioned anywhere, and then it locks down nice and tight. Now what was important for us was getting an extra one of uh, these Cam caddy pieces, and what we do with that is we put our receiver for uh, our receiver for our our handheld mic, and then we can put that in our mic jack, and we could turn on and off. And when we're in interview mode, mic mode, we do that, and then we have this piece with the wing um, that we add on here, and there's our complete setup. And normally we'd have our shotgun mic right in the center here but I'm using it to record this video. It's just a road mic. It would go here and then we just plug in and out, in and out uh, right here for, if it's run and gun, we're using the shotgun. When we get into interview mode, we switch over to our um, receiver. And then we uh, always roll with a pair of headphones, put those in back. And here is um, our setup. So that's about it. Again, this is insight into our new setup. Um, we really like the ability to literally throw a cap on here, close this down, and unscrew this and put it right next to the camera, just like this, and literally throw this in a backpack, just as a setup like that, and then pull it out of a backpack, throw the top on uh, up here, and screw it down. Everything seems lifetime, you know, durable, just really well built. You've got this piece up here, very, very durable. Because of the ridges, this won't spin around as opposed to putting a, a shoe extender here and then literally having it, having it spin. That was very important for us just to have a really solid setup. So now this becomes how we run and gun. I'll run out with this shotgun, lots of in-between footage, and then, you know, <clears throat> run with, I'll run with the shotgun plugged in on, you know, LED light on, Boom, run and gun, shoot, shoot, switch over, switch the, switch the plug from here, plug this in, boom, ready to go. When, and ultimately when I go on the Cam Caddy site and I look through the shopping area and whatever, I'm just blown away too by various other things that are coming out or already exist for this setup. The expandability of different shoes here, uh, you know, there's a brace for right here for HDSLR to get it just totally locked down and sturdy, get like 15 pounds. I saw like an iPad, you know, t teleprompter type setup. So really, I'm just really excited to be able to not only have a solid beginning starting place with CanCaddy, but then be able to just grow and develop as the production demands, uh, you know, go to different places, et cetera, et cetera. So. So if you have any questions or anything, comment below. Love to hear your thoughts. I think Media TV is helping you go further, faster in media. So subscribe, like, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you want to do. Uh, just give us some feedback. Let us know. Comment below what other videos you want to see. Maybe product reviews, thoughts, anything I didn't cover. Later. Later.